What to do, y'all? It's your girl, Makeup and Travel. And for today's video, your girl is happy, extremely happy, because I talked myself out of purchasing something with this tutorial. I did record it. It will definitely be up before this video, so I will have it linked down below for you guys. And this is also going to be the first day of complex er, collection week. So this week, I am going to be showing you guys my collection after I went through and decluttered. Now what I tend to do is I tend to give myself some time in between the actual decluttering of items and doing a full on collection video again because I find that sometimes I just go a little ham on the decluttering and sometimes I don't declutter enough. So this is going to be the collection that I'm going to be starting off 2021 with um, and yeah it's going to be all of my complexion products. So we are going to have foundation, sprays, powders i'm going to throw in my brow products all of my primers and um concealers i also have one freckle pen so i'm just going to throw that in here as well and eyeshadow primers so all of my primers anyways i think that's all i'm going to be talking about if there's another category just bear with me i usually what i do is i keep a majority of my complexion products right in this one bin so that's kind of the bin that I'm going to be discussing today. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get to it. Okay, so I'm just going to start at random um, and let's just start off with should or primers let's start off with my primers and I apparently don't keep all of my stuff in this little drawer anyways so the primer that I'm currently using um, because what I tend to do is I get one primer and I use it non-stop is my favorite primer actually and this is my Smashbox photo finish foundation primer this is the oil free version I have this one and I actually have a backup. I don't know why I have so many of these, but I had a lot when I was just going through and like reorganizing my collection. I found two. So this one is actually almost done. Um, I am a, I have about this much product left. So low key by the time this video even goes up, this might not even be in my collection anymore. I really do enjoy this primer. I think it does a really good job at smoothing out my base, controlling my oil, and just overall doing what your girl likes. So I do enjoy this primer. I will go ahead and use my backup. Um, whether I'm going to pick up another one, I don't really know. Like I stated, I tend to only use one primer at a time and having as many primers as I do right now is just unnecessary. Okay, then I have a sample of a Becca first light priming filter uh, primer. I think I have maybe two uses left of this primer left. I'm honestly waiting just a little bit closer to the middle of winter then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on because I know my body is gonna really need some more hydration I'm pretty good right now which is why I haven't picked it up I do actually enjoy this primer and I would have picked up a full size but I got a full size of another hydrating primer so I am not gonna be picking up a full size right now um, but I do enjoy it so I might as well go ahead and finish her up I have a priming oil um, and this is a first for me and this is from Danessa Myricks and this is her beauty oil in the shade Blaze. So I actually really really do enjoy this oil. I think that it's beautiful. Um, you use too much you will look oily um, and I also think that it is not a bad thing for me as an oily skin person to wear an oil so I have been using this on and off it depends on what type of finish I want my base to have um, the last couple of weeks or so I haven't been using this just because I wanted more of a matte finish um, but I may go ahead and pick this up most likely a lot more during the winter and I really do enjoy the product so I am gonna keep it the hydrating primer that I have in my collection um, that I will be keeping of course is my Danessa Myricks hydrating lotion prism fx in gold i really enjoy this primer it looks white so it looks like i shouldn't like it but i feel like there's enough gold reflect on it that it just blends beautifully into my skin into my base i think these two are really nice base concoction um for anybody that is my complexion that likes hydrating so 
I would recommend both of these products. Um, and yeah, I will. I can't wait to use more of this, especially like I said, in the winter. Um, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to finish this up and by this time it will be winter and I'll start going in with my more hydrating products then. I have one other full size mattifying primer and this is my one heck of a blot primer from Soap and Glory. Um, I got this from Ulta when Ulta was still carrying Soap and Glory makeup. It doesn't look like they're doing that anymore, at least not um, online. And I do like this primer. It's not like my favorite favorite but I have it so I might as well use it so what I'm gonna do is just work through all of these primers pretty much for the next year or so um and be happy I do have a couple primers that I'm interested in trying but I'm good with these I have two more samples which I'm only keeping for when I travel if I travel and it is the MAC prep and prime skin base and I have a foil sample of the hourglass immaculate liquid powder foundation mattifying whatever i it's too long of a sentence anyways i will probably honestly just use these off camera on days that like i don't feel like putting makeup on but i want another barrier on my skin um especially right now with my lack of traveling which is depressing to be honest but it is what it is i'm safe y'all are safe and we are all good so those are all of my primers um for my base now moving into eyeshadow primers i don't have too too many i actually only have four so one i have my glitter primer and i've been using this a lot more consistently lately i really do enjoy this i think that it really does a good job at amping up any metallic shimmer anything that you put on your lid really i do not recommend putting this down as a base if you're going to put a matte on top i just i have found that you're, it just don't work the best especially if the matte is too thin so do keep that in mind but i'm really happy i have this then i have two kind of colored bases well actually three colored bases um one is i love this formula and this is the playing in makeup by yolando eyeshadow foundation base i use this this is in shade e it is just like my skin base primer so if i want the eyeshadow base to be like my skin or whatever this is the one i go to i really enjoy this primer i would highly recommend it then I have my Nomad Cosmetics Primer. I don't think they ever sold this. I don't actually know how I got this, but it ended up in one of my packages when I purchased from them. So I do use it, of course. I really do enjoy this primer. When this sells out, when I when it sells out, when I finish this, I will probably go ahead and get another lighter shade of this one because I really enjoy this formula it's really smoothing um whereas this one isn't necessarily as smoothing but i do enjoy it so i will be keeping them of course and then the last primer i have is my paint pot for mac in the shade groundwork i have hit pan which i'm very very happy with so that shows the progress i use this to clean up the bottom of my brows and sometimes i actually do prime my eyes with this i did do that today I do like both effects. Um, so yeah, really, really nice primer. We'll continue to keep her. Okay, so let's finish off my brow products. I do not have very many brow products at all. I have one pomade and this is from Chris Anna Ann Cosmetics. I don't know if this brand is still a thing, but I have hit pan in this pomade twice. I have this one in medium brown. I don't use this pomade all that much anymore and it looks like it has began to shrink itself and dry up so if i do go ahead and pick this up again i probably will have to put some inglot in there but that's fine i knew that it pomades take a long time to get through and people generally don't finish them before they start to dry up so i'm fine with that then i have one brow kit which is the wet n wild ultimate brow kit in ash brown i have completely finished up the wax and these two are really starting to decrease i'm really happy with the progress in this um, product and when this is done i don't know if i still have the, the other decluttered brow kit but if i still have it because no friend has asked for a brow product then i will just bring that back into my collection um because it wasn't a bad product but i just don't need it so 
yeah i really am happy about this and then the other one i have is i have a brow wax from revolution and i actually just recently today hit pan on this as well so i'm really sometimes i have ex exorbitant exorbitant um collections and other times your girl knows how to have fewer and nicer things okay so now let's go ahead and go into my foundation so <laughs> I decluttered it to the point where I had, I think, less than 10 or something to that effect. I have been finishing some foundations and with using the foundation that I'm targeting right now, I decided to look into the decluttered foundations that I um, decluttered earlier. So I actually brought a couple back. So let's just get to it. So the first one is my Dior Backstage Foundation and this is in the shade 6 and I love this foundation. I can't wait to breach into it but like I said I'm one of those people I start working on one foundation and I just finish her up then I have my Too Faced Born This Way foundation I have this one in the shade Coco I love this foundation really nice smooth finishing medium coverage medium coverage for me is where it's at I love a medium natural to satin finish that is what I love I also have two of basically the same foundation which is cover girls vitalist healthy foundation and the full spectrum matte ambient foundation so these are both the same I did a foundation review side to side showing you guys um and I can't wait to reach into these these are foundations that I will probably start reaching into to in the winter months those are the finishes that I really really want to reach in for some the winter months to really just combat what is going on with my skin then I have my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Wear in 4.3 really love this foundation really smooth satin finish medium coverage um, then I have the so I brought this back um, I decluttered this and I decluttered because it was too dark but I have since then finished my darkest foundation which was my Fenty foundation so I didn't want to buy another one so I brought this elf one back and as long as it's still going to be good by the summer I will continue to keep this and this is my elf what is this flawless finish foundation in the shade espresso this is too dark for me um, but I will keep it to deepen up foundations for the summertime. I don't necessarily like that formulation by its own, but mixing together, I think it works perfectly fine. Then I have my Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in 440. I went ahead and picked up my perfect shade a while ago. I can't wait to reach for this. I really enjoy this foundation. I love the finish, love the um, coverage, all of that. I have my Bare Minerals Made to Fit fresh face liquid foundation I got this sent to me for free through an influencer box um so I really do want to reach for this because it's custom made it's my perfect foundation I just I've been working on other foundations so haven't gotten to it then I have my Tarte face tape foundation I don't intend to use this by itself I intend to use this with a more mattifying foundation maybe even that elf one um but yeah this is okay and this is in the shade rich natural natural neutral okay um then we have my L'Oreal infallibles 24 hour foundation and this is in the shade There's no shade. It's 510, 515, is that a shade? Yeah, 515 copper. That's the shade that I have. I brought this back because I will have no full coverage foundations after a couple of days. Um, so yeah, I wanted to go ahead and bring this back um, to have at least one nice full coverage foundation. And this is really light, so yeah. And then, I have my Soap and Glory Kick All Day Wear Foundation. I don't really love this foundation, but I don't hate it. And I don't want to waste product. Right now, especially after this um, pandemic, it's I don't want to give away um, makeup to too many people. You know, it just, if I bought it, 
get your use out of it throw it away so yeah um a foundation i can't wait to reach into next is my haley's reset liquid foundation i love this foundation i'm actually ha have this on today mixed with another foundation that i can't wait to get rid of um so i will probably be aiming to really knock this foundation out next i really do enjoy it and depending on how it's positioned you'll see that there is actually some pan um in this baby but i do just want to go ahead and finish her up this one is in 7.25 natural did i say natural again neutral and then the foundation that i have mixed with that today is my hue noir matte finish matte flawless finish whatever foundation this is in chestnut um i this is a matte foundation so i already don't like it because of that it is foolish coverage, so I'm not a huge fan of that. And it just pulls so yellow. I think it kind of auto-corrects enough, but just on camera, it's just not the best. So adding this more neutral base really helps it to do better on my complexion, just work better, okay? Just better overall. So this is actually in my Project Pam. So I'm going to be keeping this until I can film my November update and then I will be decluttering this. I just am not, I'm not having fun with it. I'm getting the use out of it, but as you can see, I have quite a bit foundations. No need to force myself to finish this one up. I might as well just go ahead and declutter this, throw it away and continue working with this or any of the other ones that I actually enjoy or even am okay with using. I just really don't like the color of this foundation, which is why I can't really get past the coverage and the finish. So this one will be gone very, very soon, but since it currently is still here, that's the only reason why I'm showing it to you guys today. Okay, now concealer time. I do not have very many concealers at all. I actually have three. I recently finished one and two I have to use together. The other one I can use by itself. So the two that I have to use together is my Juvia's Place Concealer. This is in the shade, I think nine. Is that nine or six? Maybe it's six. We're gonna go with six. And my Maybelline Better Skin in the shade medium deep so neither of these are the right shade for me that's why i have to mix them together the juvia's is too dark and the maybelline is too light i can actually even use the juvia's place concealer as a cream um, bronzer that's how dark it is for me without it being summer so this is actually a good summer shade for me it's actually the perfect shade for me so low-key i could actually use this as a foundation too um but right now it's just not a good shade so, oh maybe i shouldn't use these maybe i should wait i might switch out the concealer that i am panning but anyways my other concealer is from urban decay this is the naked skin in dark i don't think they have this anymore which i am definitely sad about but it's fine i don't need to be buying concealer this expensive anyways so i think what i'm going to do is actually put this into the concealer that i'm using every day and put these in my like backup drawer and those will be the concealers that i reach for after i get to this because then i can wear those both through that season and then into summer yeah that's my mindset so yeah anyways i'm keeping all of them duh um okay so now now let's do powder because i powder it next so i have kept pretty much all the powders that i decluttered right there are a couple of powders that might find their way back, but these are the powders that I'm going to be keeping. So this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Clove 28. This is pretty much my skin tone, and I believe this is actually a powder foundation. It is, but it's pressed. So I intend to use this as just a finishing powder with a really nice loose brush. Um, so yeah, I will be keeping that. I have my NYX High Glass Finishing Powder. I really, really love this powder. Um, and I have learned how to use this. If I use this with a flatter face brush, then I use it on the outer edges of my skin. If I use it with a looser brush, then I can use it all over. So really, really loving that powder. And then I got the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Powder. This is just, it's okay. It's no fuss, no muss. And that's kind of how I feel about Soap and Glory's brand overall, to be quite honest. I have two travel size loose powders. One is from Laura Mercier and Translucent. 
The other is from Fenty and Cashew. When I finish these two, I will only get the full size of Cashew. I really like that shade on me, um, but I just don't need it right now, so I'm not going to pick it up. The ones that I have full size loose powder, I have the Milk Makeup in the shade Translucent Deep. This got sent to me, full disclosure. I absolutely love it. Would highly recommend it. Um, and then I have the Too Faced Peach perfect i really really enjoy this powder really nice translucent light powder and then the last one is one i doubt you can even get again um anymore and this is from becca and this is in the shade pink haze so when i finish the powder that i'm currently um panning i will reach into this because this is the one that you guys can't get um and i don't want to keep too many things that you guys can't get in case I use them and you guys really like the product um but the powder that I'm currently working on is from Fenty and she is the Fenty Universal Invisa Matte Powder and I have oh, you can't even see so I got it to the point where it was only on the edges of the product and then I dropped it like the genius I am so I had to repress it my camera really does not want to focus there we go i had to repress it so you, as you can see i repressed it and i hit pan again so we're still pretty early on in the month of november i feel very confident in saying that this will be gone in the new year which i'm very very happy about and then i can work on like i said some of these other powders so i'm doing very very good in the powder department and like I said, right now with like my whole declutter bin and everything, if friends don't actually ask me for products, then I won't give it to them. And I will continue to just shop through my declutter bin to save me money and to save the environment because I don't want to declutter too, too much or throw too much away and just be wasteful. I have three setting sprays. One I have grown to hate, and this is from Beauty Bakery. This is their um, baking spray. I loved it at first. I don't know what happened, but the nozzle has now just died on me. The nozzle is terrible, so it sputters. Um, but this is pretty full. Like, this is brand new. So I don't, I don't want to throw it away, but this is going to be torture getting through this product. I have... A luminous setting spray from Tatcha which I actually have gotten quite a bit of use of I'm down to here um, I will probably be reaching for this during the winter just to add luminosity depending on my foundation and the powders that I use so this will probably be getting some quite a bit of use out of me um, in the colder months and then I have a kind of no fuss no must powder which is from Ofra this will probably be the last um, finishing spray that I have finished within this these three just because I, I I need to get through this I can't wait to finish this so it can be gone so that's the the finishing spray that I'm currently like panning um and yeah so I have some other things and we're just going to kind of go through those between mascaras and other products so the mascara that i'm working on right now is my monsieur big from lancome i love this ma mascara it is my favorite this is my first of two i got the holiday duo so i will definitely be um finishing this of course i have a kimchi freckle pin i like it i actually have the freckles on today i think that it's slightly too warm of a color but i like the actual product i'm happy the product actually works on me and the longer you let it sit before you actually dab it out the more pigmented the freckles are so i actually do like that i have um, one uh, colored brow gel and this is from Uma Beauty and I think the shade is Blowout. I like it. I just don't love colored brow products. I, I go back and forth. Right now I'm really into waxes so that's why this is kind of in my like backup drawer. Um, but yeah. And then I have a travel size of Urban Decay's Perversion. I think I have a couple of these hanging around somewhere i've never tried this so i don't really know um eventually i guess i'll try it i have a jumbo crayon from nyx in black i don't use this very very often but when i do i really do enjoy it as a black base or primer so i will continue to keep this of course then i have my ColourPop voluminous mascara i have this in the shade what is it 
in the shade yellow. I don't use this very often but when I do I really do enjoy how it makes my lashes look and I also enjoy the color so this will probably be one of my like go-to purchasing mascaras um, I really do love the Lancome but that thing is expensive only times I can justify purchasing it is during the holiday otherwise I think I am going to go ahead and eventually pick up the Colourpop black and try that out because based on this yellow I really do enjoy it their formula I also of course have an adhesive glue for lashes this is from kiss and it is their clear with aloe for the days that I like to try and venture out to attempt <laughs> to um do uh lashes on after i've already done my video um and yeah this is my complexion category so there are quite a few products that will be gone i believe hopefully by the new year so i'll be going into the new year with an even smaller collection within this but to be quite frank for me base products I don't even need this big of a collection. So for primers, I think I'm gonna whittle it down to having one hydrating primer, one mattifying primer, and my oil. That's it. For foundations, I like a little bit of a variety. Do I need one? No. But I think like five foundations, one dark, one, all the other four are my actual shade. Then we have a variety between, all of them being medium coverage, maybe one, full coverage and then pretty much satin and maybe one matte. I think having a variety like that will be perfect for me. Setting sprays, I think two, a normal setting spray or a mattifying setting spray um, and a luminous setting spray. And even then, I don't even know if I really want luminous setting sprays. I feel like just keeping it with the luminous powder and foundation will be good for me. Powders, I think like two, Pressed too loose will be perfect for me. Concealers, too. I really don't need any extra concealers. And the brow products, I think right now I have the right amount. So I will definitely be working on whittling this collection down. I didn't pick anything up except for a couple of primers this year. I picked up one concealer. I didn't pick up very many in this category this year, so I will continue to really do the same thing. I will not be picking up any foundations in 2021. Um, and yeah, I will just do my best to really whittle this down so that in 2022 and further years, I have the correct size of a complexion collection that I personally enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me talking and holding the products i find that my other version of collection videos they just never come in focus and it's really annoying so i'm gonna do i think my whole collection series this way and i hope you guys enjoy it so with that being said that's all i got for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always y'all black lives do matter please remember to wear a mask and stay safe please remember that your mental health is important and check out down in my description box i feel i have a lot of information interesting things that you guys might be interested in.